Well, it was originally put in for a, a water source for a large earthen pond that we have about a thousand feet downstream from here to raise fall Chinook. The screening structure no longer meets the uh, federal or state criteria to prevent uh, entrapment of juvenile salmon and trout, so it's a fish killer. Uh, the dam itself was in, in disrepair and needed some major work done on it. Uh, in order to do that, we had to actually uh, bring it up to uh, standards for fish passage and screening, and that just wasn't possible. It was actually better to take it out entirely and replace it with the, the diversion system we have now. The dam removal work began in the summer months when the river water was low flowing. Before removing the concrete dam, the river needed to be diverted around the dam removal site. Behind me stands the diversion structure for the low head diversion that will be taking water from the stream and safely it to the hatchery. But it also will provide a way to screen out any fish and prevent them from being sucked down into the hatchery and safely return them to the stream. After the river diversion, pools of water remained at the dam. The small pools contained fish that were rescued and transferred down river. In order to get the fish out of the area where we're going to do the project, we needed to do a, a fish removal, which meant we went through this with nets and electroshockers, working with ODFNW and Fish and Wildlife Service, and got most of the fish wow. project area. We've got Chinook, Coho, Steelhead, we've got Pacific Lamprey, Cutthroat Trout, and Sculpins in this stream. Two types of fish rescues were employed before the deconstruction of the dam, and then again when the excavation was up, the water levels in the holding pools had lowered. Other species will also benefit from the habitat improvements. The whole section of the project is free of fish as much as we could get possibly out of the area and the block nets are preventing the fish from re-entering. Then we've dewatered the channel down below the visqueen barrier and that's where the work is happening. So the excavator is taking the dam out right now. Right now they're removing parts of the dam and after this phase of removal they will start building of riffles. The first set of riffles will be just above this pool area and construct uh, three sets of uh, riffles for fist passage to allow fish to make it upstream and these will be uh, constructed with very large boulders. The next phase upstream will be a riffle phase that will actually help bypass water and again they're taking great care into not having to remove any trees. The grade stabilization structures will basically prevent the stream from head cutting. It will provide fish passage during all life stages of fish that live in the stream. So fish in the summer months during low flows will still be able to navigate upstream and downstream of these riffle structures and rock weirs and also prevent the stream bed from eroding too deeply and keep the, the flows constant and into the center of the stream through this reach.